McCarran. From Super Soto. He and aggressive Lamar Patterson. Look at this. Oh, that is a shot from Mitch McCarron. And just the awareness to know that's going to airball. And just go straight up with it. The length. Yeah. <laughs> just a simple pick and roll. Just left Daniel Johnson open. On the roll with no one really picking him up until late. And see here. Not really on the same page with what they were trying to do. Jack Salt flying out. Damn, Johnson just it's right through the middle. Just too easy. James Duncan in that interview with Jerry Rucker at the top saying that they got after it in practice. And when their defense has been so poor, he's talking about fouls. There would have been a lot going on. And they basically, James Duncan would probably be just saying, you've got to play through all this. We want physicality from the very first second of the game. Because if you start being physical on the defensive end from the jump, then you might get away a little bit throughout the game. You can't just turn it on in the last quarter because then you're going to get fouls against you because you have been playing too far, two steps off. And he's just looking for some guys to step up and, and really be that defensive stopper. Um, yeah. Good start for the 36ers, despite not having Dusty Hannah's Mojave King. And we heard earlier Isaac Humphreys out for essentially the rest of the season. Krebs steps it in, high off the glass. Daniel Johnson the rebound. Gave it up instead. And the bucket and the foul. Nicely done. Todd Withers. Todd Withers. Great take. Good finish. He goes to the line. Three to Hardway. It's been up and down. Todd Withers, but I think when he really. And I'm on your own. Frame of mind, he can be a beast for the Adelaide 36. He's shooting 41% from three, and he hasn't been shy in letting it fly. But plays like that, we already saw a couple of things he did on the defensive end again against Lamar Patterson. Uh, and you see Isaiah Moss into the game already for Lamar Patterson. So maybe James Duncan thinking, look, I'm going to have to keep everyone on a short leash. If you're not showing certain things on the defensive end, come sit down with come me. Come and sit down. <laughs> That's the only way you got to hold everybody accountable. And uh, I'd be expecting all the young fellas on the end of the bench to stay ready in a game like this. He's ball. No, it's still 36 is ball. Todd Withers coming off of a 17 point performance to go along with five rebounds five players were in double figures versus melbourne united daniel johnson aggressive oh, hands it up and cam besto under the rim Derek rocket out and guys, this is not the start the Bullets are looking for after all that hard work this week. And look, I think a lot of their problems sometimes comes from the shot selection. I haven't liked three of the past four shots that they've taken. Two step back, two, uh, two step backs, one a two and one a three. And I think the ball has good energy in it, but they've got to find some way to attack the rim. That's what Coach Duncan wanted prior to the game. He started his huddle with attack, 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 and he finished it with no regrets. Well, Rock, we're talking some thought. Gave it to the hot man. And the goal with the hot hand. Franks trying to stop him. Bairstow backs his way in. Sidestep was delightful. He took gave him the time walk. Jump to the left. Step to the right. Took him to school. This is the difference between both bigs that are really talented and good. One goes and gets assertive, catching the ball on the block, gives him an array of moves. He goes for it and one. That's what Robert Franks and the Brisbane Bullets need to do on the other end with him. Put him on the post, give him the ball, and let him go to work. Great execution by the most consistent player on the Adelaide 36s. Couldn't quite complete the deal. Oh, what my is goodness. What was happening there? And Sunday in a hurry. Ding, ding out there. Hands it up to Anthony Trimming. Back to KD, Harrison running for him, and off the glass, a much needed two. Nice pass, way to keep the defender on the hip. Jason KD, good pass, alley -oop. easy finish. This is the end over here, enter Kai Soto. It's best they're going to do this time. He's going to do what he's been doing all quarter. The same double turn, and the cleanup man, Super Soto. Soto coming off his best game of the season. 12 points, 4 rebounds. And the 3 on cue. Crowd up out of this seat. And with the jumper, Harrison 
Gives them a second chance at it. To the corner, Drimming. Gets it, and suddenly they're alive. And it starts with the energy and effort on defense. That's what they have to lean on. Move the ball around. Good offensive rebound. Kicks it to the corner. Drimmick knocks down the three. Look at that pretty well on Harrison. And body him up, and Harrison didn't really want to have a look to shoot. So if you're guarding a guy like Anthony Drimmick, Jason Kadeo, Isaiah Moss, saying stay home. It's really good energy and effort defensively. Marshall, Soto, McCarron. Oh! Oh! From Super Soto. Car Soto. Well, that was that was a shot from Mitch McCarron, but Soto read that, read that perfectly. Put a lid on it. But we need an aggressive Lamar Patterson. Look at this. Oh, that is a shot from Mitch McCarron, and just the awareness to know that's going to airball and just go straight up with it. The length, the athleticism. <laughs> He is enjoying himself. I love the fact that he he recognizes opportunity and taking full advantage of it. Very unfortunate.